Welcome to another episode of our Data Cloud video series. My name is Aditya and I'm a developer advocate here at Salesforce. In this video, we are going to talk about insights. Insights are multi-dimensional metrics that you can create from the data stored inside Data Cloud. There are two types of insights you can create. First is calculated insights and the second is streaming insights. Calculated insights are created on the bulk data that is stored in Data Cloud. You can configure these insights to be recalculated every 6, 12 or 24 hours. Streaming insights on the other hand are created on real-time data that is coming in at a specific time window. It can be from Web SDK, Mobile SDK or the Ingestion API. These metrics are recalculated in near real time. To create calculated insights, you can use objects in any category, but you can only use objects in the engagement category for streaming insights. Once you create a calculated insight, you can use it in segmentation, activation, record updates and more. Streaming insights on the other hand can only be used in data actions and are not available in segmentations or activations. Before creating an insight, you must first have a good understanding of the data model in your data cloud org. In this video series, we've been working with a fictitious company called Solar Circles, which sells solar panels. This is the data model currently in the org. Let's look at a few important objects that are needed for this demo. At the center, we have the individual object, which stores the details of Solar Circles customers. Next, we have the product object that stores the details of the solar panels that this company sells. This data is coming in from Sales Cloud. Once the customer purchases a solar panel, we are creating a junction object called Purchased Products that has a relationship to both the individual and the product object. In the previous episodes, we have used the Ingestion API to capture the solar panel performance at the end of each day. And we have mapped that data to a data model object called Solar Panel Performance Summary. We are also capturing real-time voltage readings and storing it in the solar panel readings data model object. Both of these objects obviously have a relationship to the purchased products DMO. Now that we know the objects and relationships, let's create some insights. First, let us create an insight that calculates the total power consumption for each individual. Speaking in technical terms, this would mean we need the sum of the total power consumed grouped by the individual ID. The total power consumed field is present in the performance summary object and the individual ID field is present in the individual object. From the calculated insights tab in data cloud, click new and select a data space. You can create an insight by writing a SQL statement or by using a point and click builder that is very similar to flow builder. Using a builder is the most easiest way to create an insight, but writing a SQL statement gives you more flexibility in terms of writing subqueries, using in operators and so on. You can even import an insight from a package. Let's go with the builder for now and click next. Since this metric needs all the historical bulk data, I'll be creating a calculated insight. In the builder, you must first choose the primary object. In our case, it is a performance summary object because it contains the total power consumed field that I can aggregate on. But if you notice, it doesn't contain the individual ID field that I want to group by. To get the individual ID, I need to traverse to the individual object via the purchase product junction object. To do this, I'll be using the join node with which you can join two tables together based on certain criteria. Select the table you want to join and click next. You'll now have to choose the join type and join keys. These are concepts from SQL, which basically define the criteria using which both these tables must be joined. You can learn more about joins by clicking the link in the description below. In our case, it will be an inner join 
and the join key will be our relationship field which is the panel id similarly i'll create one more join to include the individual object that actually has the individual id now that i have all the data that i need i'll create an aggregate node within the aggregate node you'll have to create measures and dimensions measures are nothing but aggregated values of attributes for our insight it is going to be the sum of the total power consumed that's the measure dimensions on the other hand are values that categorize a measure which is typically the values that you group by for our insight it's the individual id let's configure that under measures click on plus and choose a metric function in our case it's the sum and choose the field we want to aggregate let's give this measure a name then let's add a new dimension choose the field that you want to group by give the dimension a name and click apply and that's pretty much it we can now save and run our insight let's give it a name and now you'll have to pick a schedule which defines how frequently should this insight be recalculated like i mentioned earlier it can be either 6 hours 12 hours or 24 hours finally let's click enable you'll be taken to the detail page of this insight and it will be queued for execution in the expression tab we can see the sql statement that has automatically been created based on what we configured in the builder back in the details tab notice that the insight has a few fields and an api name that is because each calculated insight is like an object with the fields that correspond to each dimension and measure that we create the records in this object are nothing but your metrics that are calculated when the insight runs you can actually run this insight immediately to do so click on publish now the status changes to pending and then to processing and once complete it changes to success once successful you can go to the data explorer tab to check the results choose a data space under objects select calculated insight and choose the insight that we just created you can now see a table with the total power consumption for each individual based on these results if you think you need to edit this insight then there are a few things you need to keep in mind for example you will be able to add new measures but not remove existing ones you'll find a comprehensive list of these guidelines in the documentation if you want to make major changes the best way is to clone the insight and create a new one let's now build another insight that calculates the number of voltage drops per panel in a 10 minute window this is so that i can monitor if a panel is working correctly or not since this metric is on real time data and needs a time window that is 10 minutes we need to create a streaming insight back on the calculated insights tab let's click new choose a data space and select streaming insights let's give it a name and we'll be writing a sql statement for this example on the left hand side you can find the list of objects and their fields and also a list of functions that you can use in your query on the right hand side is where you write the sql query and here is the query for this streaming insight it looks very similar to a calculated insight sql query it has a measure which is the count of records and a dimension which is the panel id and a where clause that filters specific records in our case it has records with voltage less than 100 but there are a few differences each streaming insight must have the dimensions window.start and window.end and it must also have a window function in the group by clause the window function defines the time window for aggregation and the time window can be anything between 1 minute and 24 hours 
for our insight it is 10 minutes. In the window function you must also specify which date and time field to consider for the window calculation. We can now save and run this insight. Once the insight runs you can see the results in the data explorer tab. Notice that for each panel there are entries for every 10 minute window. Now that you have created the insights, what can you do with them? You can use them in segmentations and activations, data enrichments, you can query these insights using APIs and APEX, and you can use them in data actions. We'll cover data actions in another episode, but let's look at the other three today. First is segmentation. When you're creating a segment, along with the list of attributes for a given object, you will also find the related calculated insights. For a calculated insight to appear under an object, the object must be a part of the insights query. I can use the fields in this insight to create a segment for let's say all the individuals whose total power consumed is greater than 10,000. Next, let's talk about data enrichments. Starting window 24, you can copy data cloud data into fields or surface them as related lists on the contact and lead objects. The data that you copy into a field can be from a data model object or from a calculated insights object. Let's say we have a field on the contact object called total power consumed. I want this field's value to be pulled from data cloud. In the object manager for the contact object, there's a new section called data cloud copy field. Here you can see a list of copy field enrichments that are already set up. To create a new enrichment for the power consumed field, click new and select copy fields and click next. Select the data space and the data cloud object that you want to copy from. In our case, it is a total power consumption calculated insight. Select the fields from the insight you want to pull the data from. Give this enrichment a name and save. Now you need to map the field on the calculated insight to a field on the contact object. So here I'll map it to the total power consumed field. Let's now click on activate. After the sync is complete, you can refresh the contact page and now you can see the value in this field is being filled from data cloud. Finally, you can also query calculated insights using APIs and APEX. In the data cloud APIs postman collection, you can find the API to query calculated insights. In the endpoint URL, add the name of the insight you want to query. And you can optionally pass in parameters like limit, offset, filters, and so on. For example, if I want to query the top five records, that is the top five individuals with the highest power consumption, then I can add a limit parameter with the value of five and an order by parameter with the value total power consumed descending, where total power consumed is the field on the calculated insight. Once I click send, you can see that I'm getting back the data that I need. I can even filter the data based on values of dimensions or measures. For example, if I want the data of a specific individual, I can pass a filter based on the individual ID dimension. Once I click send, I'll get the filtered data. In Apex, you get a very similar experience via the connect API class. The CDP query class in connect API provides a method called query calculated insights that takes in a few parameters like dimensions, measures, limit, offset, filters, and so on, just like the API. In this example in Apex, I'm querying for the top five records. So I'm passing the parameter values based on that. I can then pass the results and use the data in my own business logic. And that's how you can create and use insights in data cloud. 
If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button to get notified whenever we publish new videos.